A family continues to grieve the murder of a young man who was just starting a career as a police officer. OPP Constable Greg Pierce Chalo was killed in Hagersville last December. CHCH spoke to one of the members of his family today as they continue to search for answers. Al Sweeney reports. Justina Pierce Chalo says there's one thing she'd like to ask about the murder of her brother. I would just want to know why. I, I would just want to know why they did it, um, what their intentions were behind it. Um, yeah, I just want to know why. It's been eight months since OPP Constable Greg Pierce was shot and killed near Hagersville when he went to help a car in the ditch. He had just passed his 10-month probation period on the job. There was nothing he could have done. It was initially an ambush. He was ambushed. His sister says it's tough to find the right words about what happened. It's just unthinkable. Like, I would never think, like, if I drove a car into a ditch and someone was trying to help me, that would be the last thing on my list would be to shoot. So I really, I'm not sure what was going on. So it is a little, it does um, give me some anger, but, but I, other than that, I really have no words. An unsettling aspect of this case is that one of the accused was out on bail at the time of the killing. Two people, Randall McKenzie and Brandy Stewart Sperry, are charged with first-degree murder in Pierce Challa's death. Mackenzie had been granted bail months before despite a violent criminal record, leading to widespread calls for bail reform. This situation definitely kind of showed that um, maybe it should, that should be something that should be on the list for improvements. Justina says the last eight months since her brother's death have been tough. It, it just doesn't feel real yet. It is, um, it's definitely left a hole that no one will ever be able to fill. I know that my family is uh, one of faith and we still believe that he is um, still watching over us. So I think that is definitely comforting. She also finds comfort in the events to honor her brother. A bike ride through Norfolk County, a memorial run in Barry, where Pierce Challa was from, and a golf tournament, all of them raising tens of thousands of dollars for charities. I think this fundraising aspect is really important because it just shows that despite such a uh, tragedy, that good can still come from it. Al Sweeney, CHCH News, Barry.